Hey guys, Pula here with another video and another problem. As you can see, this is the leak from the engine oil to the radiator. And what caused this? I'm gonna show you what is the part that causes this where it's located and what's uh, how to replace it I have here Kia Optima 2011 with 2.4 liter engine but not GDI the uh, engine oil cooler is located here as you can see the pipes that I got them out this part is the engine oil cooler which is located there at the bottom of the engine I'm gonna show you from here wait right here where uh, the oil filter is located here is the engine oil cooler how are you gonna test it and find out if the problem is from this part or not I'm gonna show you the easy way that you can find out okay this is the old one as you can see the water from the radiator is coming through here and going out from here okay and the oil is going through here And out from here to the filter okay so what I did I made the inlet water with the pressure of course to come in to the inlet part and in the location then I put my finger like this or you can do this and let the pressures goes in to the oil cooler by the time if the hole or the brick is big the water is starting coming out from this hole and you can find out that the problem is your oil uh, engine oil cooler when you see the water from here it means that there is a leak inside of this part I'm going to change it what I did I did this I didn't uh, and it uh, response to me some people do uh, another ways to find out if the problem is here some guys are putting the air in the state of water and put the this part under the water and uh, when they see the bulbs uh, air bulbs then they find out then then they uh, see and they find out that the problem is with uh, this part but i choose this way and, uh, and uh, it's a response to me so uh, i'm going to change it and uh, of course you have to clean the inside of radiator also and it's uh, another way that after all I will show you how to clean the radiator I'm not going to open the whole radiator because there is no need for it there is a inlet and outlet so what you are going to do open the outlet and put the flush from here and let the other the uh, outlet to be free and all these leaks and there's uh, oil will be get out from the radiator I will do it my way and in the end I'll show you what happens but uh, that is it this is the cause of the leak 
from the engine oil cooler to the radiator and there is another way you can find out as you know uh, there is two coolers in your car one of them is the engine oil cooler and the other is the transmission fluid cooler okay transmission fluid cooler which is located here so <clears throat> how you can find out if the leak is from engine or from the transmission fluid first of all in the morning or when the car is cold it's cold and it's not uh, working you will check the oil engine as you can see my oil engine my engine oil is in the bottom and it shows me that it's not in a fully point but it's on the low point this way you can find out that the leak is from the engine oil cooler and another way you can open this and see if there is any leaks like this or yellow this, uh, yellow thing like this a yellow oil there is nothing here it means that your casket is not broken and your casket is in a good condition because another cause of these leaks is uh, when your casket is broken so we find out this way that the leak is from the engine oil but how you can find out if the leak is from the transmission fluid there is a a hole there you can open it and check if your transmission fluid is full or it's not it's another uh, operation that I can't explain it now but for now this is what I found and I think it's uh, I hope that it will be helpful for you guys and saves you a lot of money and my duty and what I'm going is to help you save your money thanks for watching and bye bye till the next video